This video will demonstrate one method for solving drawing 1-1 straight lines. Now I have my drawing open in Autodesk Design Review. In AutoCAD, I'm going to go to the application menu, select new to start a new drawing, and I'm navigating to find that TD template. If I take a look at my drawing, I need to find a starting point. Now I have my drawing itself and I have a bunch of different dimensions. On some of these more simpler drawings, it's always good just to start in the top left hand corner and work our way around. So if I take a look at this line moving across my drawing, I'll notice that it is 8 inches in length all the way across. So I'm going to start by drawing a line that's 8 inches. So I'm going to select my line command, left click one time in my drawing area to select a point. I'm going to type in 8 for 8 inches and hit enter and I'm gonna press escape and see what my next value is. And I can see as I move down my drawing I have a six inch line and I can tell that because these arrows are pointed to these extension lines and it has six inches between that. So going up and down here I have a six inch line Let's jump back to AutoCAD, left click on the line, left click on my ending point, pull down in the direction we want, 6, enter, and since this is a rectangle, I know I need to come back, but I forgot what measurement this top line was. So what I'm going to do, in, instead of jumping back to my drawing to figure out the measurement, I'm going to use my OTRACK function by moving my mouse pointer up to my starting point, and without clicking, I'm just touching it to that, I'm going to pull it straight down. And we can see that OTRACK dotted line appears. When that snaps, straight out perpendicular. I'm going to left click one time to select that point and then bring it back to the beginning and press escape to exit out of that command. Let's jump back to our drawing and we see here that our vertical line that was six inches if we come down three inches we have a horizontal line going across here. Likewise, along the top, my top line was 8 inches, but 4 inches in I have a vertical line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw those. So I'm coming over 4 inches and going down. In this one I'm coming down 3 inches and going over. So I'm going to go over 4 inches and come down, escape to exit out of that, and let's go down three inches and come across. Now, one issue that we're going to run into is that we have an eight inch line, but if we were to delete that, we have that four inch line underneath that 8 inch line. For these drawings it's not that big of an issue. Down the road we're going to have to address this because when we print these drawings out on some printers it will print that line multiple times and especially on inkjet printers the ink may have a tendency to bleed further if the line is drawn multiple times. For the purpose of this drawing, I'm not that concerned that we have lines on top of each other. Jumping back to our drawing, 
we have a whole bunch of different horizontal lines. And I can tell that they are 0 0.50 inches apart. Let's jump back to our drawing. And if you remember, we can offset a line a specified distance away from a previous line or basically just duplicate that line a certain distance away by using our offset command. Our offset command is located on our modify area offset and I'm going to left click one time and I don't remember what I'm supposed to do next. So what I'm going to do is look down here in the command line and that's going to tell me what to do. It says specify offset distance. Well, how far do we want that away? Well, the drawing says that we want it 0 0.50 inches away. So I'm going to type in 0 0.50 and press enter on my keyboard. And now it's asking us to select an object to offset. So this is saying, well, you want to do something a half inch away, but what do you want to do? It wants you to click on that. So I'm going to click on this top line here because that's the one I want to offset. And now in our command line, it's telling us to click on which side of the original object we want that line. And if you come up here and move your mouse, it will kind of show you where it's going to put it. Well, I want this to be below the original line, so I'm going to click somewhere below it. Now, because I want to do multiple lines, I can just come in with my offset command still active, click the previous line, click below it, previous, below it, previous, below it, and continue that all the way down. When I'm done, I can hit the escape key and exit out of that command. And we're ready to continue on with the drawing. If I jump back to my original drawing, I notice that the vertical lines are also 0.50 away from this, each other. So I need to draw those next. So on my drawing here, I could use the offset command to do the same thing that I previously did, or I could just come in here and type in 0.5 and draw a line down and come over this way, 0.5 and draw a line up and come over this way, 0.5 and draw a line down. And that's okay because we are getting those lines a half inch away. Uh, we will run into an issue down the road where we have little tiny pieces of line underneath other lines. Again, for this drawing, not that big of a deal. But it is another method of creating lines a specified distance away. It takes a little bit longer because you're keying in more numbers and you're clicking a few more times. If you did the offset command, type 0.5, enter, and then just click and keep clicking. It's a little bit faster, but it gives you the same result. Let's exit out of that by pressing escape and let's jump down to our drawing. Now we run into a little bit more of a challenge where we have some diagonal lines that we need to draw. I'm going to come in here and delete these lines that I've drawn on top of it so it's a little bit easier to see. And if we come in and we zoom in really close on all of these lines, we need to find a point of reference to be able to start our diagonal lines. Now we we know that they are a half inch apart and we can assume that they're 45 degree angle. So we need to figure out where exactly to start. Well, what we're looking for is a point where we have two lines connected together. And if you, there we go, if we take a look right there, we can see that these two lines are perfectly lined up. 
This one, not lined up. That one is not lined up. So our point of reference is gonna be this first line right here. Let's go ahead and jump back to our drawing. Let's zoom in on our bottom quadrant and select our line command. I'm gonna start from my point of reference. Now, what we want to do is we want to draw a line in the general direction of where we're going. But we don't quite know what angle to draw it at. We, we assume that it's a 45 degree angle based off the drawings. But when I draw it at what I think should be 45 degrees, it says 135. I want to illustrate something to alleviate a little bit of confusion at this point. I'm going to draw a circle and in that circle I'm going to select a line in the center point. If I pull that line directly to the right you'll see that it gives me a degree of zero. So it's zero degrees if I pull it straight to the right. If I pull this line directly up, you'll see that it gives me 90 degrees. And that makes sense because it's 90 degrees from that previous point. If I pull it straight to the left, it gets me 180 degrees. So if I come back here, we're at 90 here. Come back to the right, we're at zero. If I go down, straight down, I'm back at 90 degrees. Go back to the left, 180 degrees. If I want to draw this at a 45 degree angle, it's going to draw it either upwards if my mouse pointer is up or it's going to draw it downwards if my mouse pointer is on the lower side of that circle. But if I want a 45 degree angle the other way, what I need to actually do is take 90 degrees, which is straight down, and add 45 degrees, which gives me 135 degrees. So what I've done is I've drawn this circle and I've added in these numbers to help visualize it a little bit clearer. And this is the way that AutoCAD thinks. So if you are starting a line at the center point here right in the middle and you want to draw something directly to the right, AutoCAD sees that as zero degrees. If you want to draw it straight up or straight down it's 90 degrees but if you want to draw it downward toward the left at a 45 degree angle AutoCAD registers that as 135 degrees and that's one of the little quirks that you have to kinda of get used to and you know it's, it's good to maybe write, write this down and post it next to your computer but what it's doing is it's taking 90 degrees going straight down, it's adding 45 degrees to that, which gives you 135. So I'm going to come in here and uh, get rid of my little graphic there. And we're going to come back and find our point of reference. And we know we want to go downward to the left at a 45 degree angle. But if you recall from what we just went through, it's actually 135 degrees. So I'm just gonna draw a line that's fairly long at 135 degrees and select that point. And if I'm left with a little tail, that's perfectly fine because I can come up and I can locate my trim command. So let's see here. And I don't remember where that trim command is but we can come through here and just hold the mouse pointer on our buttons and that gives us some, some tool tips. 
Okay, oh, there, there's the trim. So I found the trim command. And if you remember from the other day, the best way to use trim, the easiest, quickest way, is when you select trim, just press enter on your keyboard to select everything, and then just click on what you don't want, and hit escape to back out of that command. Now, I have one diagonal line at 45 degrees down to the left, or 135 degrees, and I need to make a whole bunch of them that are 0.50 inches apart. So I'm going to use that same offset command to offset all of these little lines. Okay. Now, I also need to make these lines longer. So I'm going to use the extend command. And again, similar to trim, I'm just going to hit enter to select everything once I've selected that extend command. And I'm just going to click on all of these different lines so that I can extend them to the other side. And I have a few tails down here. So I'm going to select my trim command, press enter on the keyboard to select everything, and click on what I don't want. And I'm just going to continue along here, going the opposite direction, because if we take a look at our drawing, all of these lines are connected. And now I need to move back to my offset command, 0.5, enter, offset my lines, trim, and extend, enter to select everything. Okay, now it looks pretty good. However, if I zoom in really, really close, I can see that I have a gap, which means I need to come back and extend that line. There we go. And let's just, we can zoom in and take a look at some of these other ones just to make sure that we're lined up. And it's looking pretty good. Okay. And that is one method of solving the first drawing called straight lines, drawing 1-1. The last thing we need to do is save our drawing. So I'm going to come up to the application menu. I'm going to save my drawing, navigate to the desktop and locate my AutoCAD folder. And I'm going to save this as Olson 1-1 and I've already actually drawn this and saved this so I already have that file on there but you will want to save it with your last name and 1-1